the first time i tried drugs uh, i actually felt this is one of the worst things uh, my mind was going all over the place and as a little boy i didn't know how to react to that kind of stuff so i didn't like it in the beginning but then the next day i wanted it again so growing up uh, i got my hands on some good music and it was just wonderful because it was a mix of drugs and music and that was all i wanted at that time and it made me feel so cool it made me feel that everything in this world is drugs and music nothing else and then i realized but by the end of 9th and 10th standard i was addicted to marijuana cigarettes and alcohol one of my friends i would say uh showed me how how to shoot uh how to use the needles and the moment i tried it i felt that was the best thing i've ever done in my life and then i got my hands on heroin so i would do a cocktail of heroin and brown sugar and and it was bad and uh, every day it was four needles four shots a day and i couldn't survive i couldn't move i couldn't do anything without my needle shot so it was my life nothing else was important than the drugs there were many times i, I would get up and uh, in the middle of the night and uh, uh i'd be like what am i doing to myself but the rush of just wanting something higher than what i am in now this made me go for it i'd slept in my own vomit for about 3 or 4 nights almost survived an overdose in the night i got up uh, somewhere around 2 am and uh, i went to get a glass of water and i could hear my mother crying and uh, that really broke my heart uh, because uh, i knew that she was crying for me and uh, she wanted her son back all i did was did another shot and the emotions go and so there were times i would just take out some of these photographs and just look at this young innocent boy uh, and what happened to him now there was a neighbor and she would uh, she used to attend this church it was a malayalam church and uh, she told the pastor of the church to come to my house and invite me to play uh, the guitar for a few days of fasting prayer and for church so uh this pastor turns up home and says can you come and play guitar and i said no i really was frustrated and irritated so i told him to get out of the house i didn't want to see him again uh because i didn't want to do anything with god but something inside me said go so i get into this church fully high and i remember the pastor came up and he sang this song in malayalam and uh, i don't really understand malayalam but i could understand the words of this song and the song was uh, talking about if you give your life to christ he is able to change your life and he will wash your sins with the blood of jesus but i just brushed it away and then i heard a voice in my spirit saying paul all through the night i was thinking who is that person who called me by my name that voice was a very different voice it's a voice that just pierced my heart the next morning it was the next day of fasting prayer so the pastor again said come and this time i went again but he sang the same song again and this time the lord took a hold of me and he said paul if you give my life if you give your life to me i will change your life and make you a new person as i was playing the guitar that day I felt a tear drop on the guitar. I hadn't cried from the time I was in 5th or 6th grade. I had not cried at all. But I knew that the Holy Spirit had convicted me and I was I just prayed to myself. I just said it to God. I said, "God, if you're able to change me, I will serve you the rest of the days of my life." And that day I spent a few hours just on the floor weeping. and i gave my life to christ and the moment i got off that stage i knew i was a new person
that was how slowly I gave up all the drugs. I did not have any withdrawals, no pains, nothing. I was just completely changed. I felt physically, mentally strong. So I felt completely set free. I just look at God's hand upon me. Uh, I know that God lets me let me go through these seasons and it's just made me a harder person. It's made me a better person. Today, I'm married. I have two little boys. Uh, currently, I'm pastoring a church. I am able to sympathize and able to counsel and tell other youth that, you know, it's starting off may be cool but things can get rough and God is always there and He can take us from the pit and He can completely clean us and make us free.